we're going to have a look in this tutorial at how to edit the content of the pages in your website. Up here we've got two buttons, Add New Article and Article Manager. I'm going to go into Article Manager uh, to, to have a look at how we do this because I've got existing articles, makes it a lot easier to look at how the content is laid out there. So in this particular case, I'm going to grab, uh, just grab this page. So imagine you've got a site, you want to change some wording on the site. You simply open up here uh, as that loads, you'll see you've got a nice editor here with a lot of different um, functionality and all the sort of things that you would expect in anything like a, a word processor, although this is actually probably simpler than the word processor you're currently using. So here we have some text here. We can uh, change that text using bold, italics, underscoring and so on. You can also use uh, things like uh, format. So putting into headings. Now the way this particular site is set up, heading one comes up automatically based on the menu link. Uh, but you could have a heading two or a heading three within your content and that just flags to Google and other search engines the importance of the words in that particular article. So that's where we'd, you, you would have no more than one heading one on a website. Oh, sorry, on a page in a website, no more than one heading three on a page in the website, and then you use heading twos or headings fours or fives elsewhere in your content. Of course, you can do things like bullet points, numbered points, and so on. You can add links and so on and edit images. In this case, we've got a nice image uh, in this site. The way you add an image into your content is you go down the bottom here, and you'll see you've got an image button. If I click on that, that brings up all of the images currently loaded onto the server. If the image I want is not there, I can uh, go to choose file and that will take me to my own computer. I can click on an image, click open, and that will put it into the box here and click start upload and that will load it onto the server. I then, when choosing an image, simply click on the image I said here if I want it to be on the left or the right of the text, if it's not on the left or the right, then it will simply be uh, split the text uh, above and below. So the content, the image will sit in between the paragraphs of text. We can put a description here, that's important for Google, that becomes your alt tag. And you can have a title showing up if you want to as a caption. Uh, typically, in most cases we just use a, an alt tag. Once you've done that, you hit insert. I won't do that here because we've already got our image and that would drop the image into your content. This page is probably a little bit short. In most cases you really want probably 300 plus words to really get Google's attention and add a few headings. But that gives you uh, a good idea how you go about editing the content. Uh, if you are uh, want to make some changes in the HTML of the page, you can click on toggle the editor and that brings up all of your HTML uh, um, commands in here or characters uh, if you want to work in that area. Most people will simply work as a uh, what you see what you get type edit screen. Up here we have our categories. In this particular case this content is uncategorized. If we click the drop down we see the categories on this site if we clicked on testimonials, it would then show up on a page that's flagged that wants to show only testimonial content. And you can have categories within categories as, as far as you want with uh, the Joomla structure. So that gives you a lot of control over uh, sorting content and also displaying content. Uh, if you're using a category like that, you can also display it in a blog format, which means that you have multiple articles displaying on a single page. The other area that you need to be aware of is your metadata. This is very important for Google. In here, we've got a brief description of what the uh, page contains. That one's probably a little bit too brief, uh, but we can add more content there as we decide how we want Google to find this page. And also we add our keywords into that page. They're the main areas that, that you will use when editing content. So uh, 
once you've made the changes you want you simply click on save and those changes are live on your website immediately I'm going to close that page now and we're just going to go to the front of this website and you'll see uh, custom lectures that's the page we were just in and this is how that displays on the site as you can see uh, the heading up here it's got a, got a, a h1 heading for Google up here it would probably benefit from having an h3 heading as well we've got our image there's our alt tag that uh, uh, and, and our title for Google's purposes as much as for other visitors if we go to our testimonials page this is that the blog style page on this site you'll see here we've got multiple articles displaying on this one page so that's where the value of the blog style pages come in and you've got links to more pages underneath and you can, you've got your next and previous buttons as well so that's a good way of having adding content quickly to a site without having to worry about messing around with your menus every time and that's basically it for editing content in the site